My name is Joel Spears. I have a bachelor's degree in graphic design and I am a pre-pressed design engineer at Flexible Pack. So I just got the Guinness World Record for the largest collection of energy drink cans and it was a total of 1,019 cans. Uh, depends on what we're working on. It changes every day. We do so much stuff here and uh, I am on what they call the roll fed side. So if designs are going to be finished onto a roll of labels, uh, that's the department I work in. The, the graphic designer makes it look pretty. We have to get that pretty onto the label properly based on the technology. Uh, about six years ago, I started my YouTube channel. I started it because whenever I looked up a review on an energy drink, I wanted to know about what new drinks they were or what they tasted like. There really wasn't that much out there. I'll talk a little bit about the company. I'll talk about the ingredients in the drink. So, and then I'll do a detailed taste test of the drink, as much information as I can possibly get. And uh, I used to buy two cans, one for the review and one for the display. I found that three of the cans throughout the collection had started to leak. You know, all these cans used to be full, but I had to empty them out and I called it the memorial service. And I was just pouring it out and I was crying. And... Oh, actually it's the Ghost Swedish Fish. I have it right here. Uh, Ghost actually does a great job with their design. Not only that, but it's also a great flavor because it tastes exactly like Swedish Fish in a can. But besides reviewing energy drinks, I also wanted to educate people on caffeine safety. Someone will see me holding a can like this, drinking a 200 milligram drink, and be like, oh my goodness, that guy is drinking so much caffeine, while they're holding their large iced Dunkin' coffee, which is 390 milligrams of caffeine. Energy drinks, lots of energy drinks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I record usually on the weekends, and I uh, usually do two to three videos. They send me drinks in exchange for an honest review because I don't want it to seem like I am uh, biased towards any company. So whenever a company sends me a drink, I will always say that they sent it to me in exchange for an honest review. Any kind of hobby that you have, there's always going to be something about it that might stress you out. And even if it's someone who plays music and they have a gig or they're trying to worry about getting too many gigs or they have too much, uh, just remember, you know, they like playing music. They like collecting, they like gaming, and uh, just to go back and remember, don't forget that you enjoy what you're doing. But I'm always looking forward to seeing what the next label is, uh, what the next technology is going to be, uh, all the advancements that come along with just, you know, everyday life, seeing what, how to make labels better. As for the energy drinks, I'm just going to continue to, you know, do what I do, continue to collect the cans, in case anyone is gonna try and come after my Guinness World Record. Right before I do the uh, review and the taste test, I'll hold the can up and I'll show it to the people and I'll use the skills that I have as a graphic designer and in the label industry to say, oh, there's too many fonts on this or the colors look good or these colors clash. Uh, just uh, inspiring to continue to you know, do things that you enjoy because uh, you never know you might get a record out of it.